smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, we're doing a mod on this car. So you guys know that. You know, I got a couple things for Burger Tuning. I've been hyping it up, but I haven't been doing any of this stuff lately because you guys know I have a valve cover um, leak and I don't want to do any tunes or anything like that. You know, of course, my, my, my engine's leaking oil. So I got to prioritize. A lot of you guys telling me that why didn't you start off with, you know, the engine stuff first? Um, the reason is, guys, the car had a thousand lights on the dash. I wanted to like pinpoint and go, you know, I wanted to go further down the list. I want to get all the lights off the dash and get rid of even the service engine light. Um, I want to get rid of all the lights on the dash because it won't pass headline brake if, you know, the cosmetically, like the lights or whatever are bashed in. So we ended up fixing the wiring for this light. You guys know I did all the wiring. Um, this light, you guys, one of you guys sent me out the, the light for it, so I'm waiting on that. We fixed a lot of the wiring in the inside of the car just to fix the, the sensor because we had the ABS light, the tire pressure light, the service engine, all because of that ABS. So we had to do the wiring for it, we had to do that. So we did all this, it's not just cosmetically and internal work, we did all this mainly because those lights weren't gonna get the car legally on the road. So I had to fix those lights, I had to get rid of them. Um, yeah, true, the interior trim coulda, coulda, you know, coulda been down the road, but I mean, yo, I really wanted to do the trim, you can't really hate me for that. Um, the bullet holes, I wanted to cover them up, mainly because, you know, I can't, when I get the car, when I get the pink slip, I can't drive it around to headlight and brake and smog with bullet holes through it. You got, it's just gonna be a story to tell, and it, it's not really worth the hassle. So, I want to at least cover those guys up. Um, it's not like I'm swapping the interior, swapping out the steering wheel, or doing anything, or putting on bumpers on the car just yet. Um, I'm, I'm prioritizing, don't worry. But yeah, guys, the start of each video, like I promised, we're gonna go ahead and announce the people who supported the build so far. Um, so these are the people that purchased decals between the date of last video and now. All right, guys, I wanna shout out Benancio, um, Khalid, George, Jordan. Shout out to you guys. Uh, Marcus, thank you so much. Philip. Shout out to you, bro. And then uh, Wesley, shout out to you guys. Um, appreciate it so much. Every single decal you guys are purchasing are going straight back into the build. I actually, from the money that I've gotten so far from the decals, I was able to purchase some spark plugs for this car and a valve cover gasket and a couple of the miscellaneous pieces that I'll be needing to uh, you know, get the engine back in the healthy condition. So shout out to you guys for helping out so much. Thank you guys so much for that stuff. If you guys want to be also shouted out in the next video, make sure you guys um, purchase a decal down below. Those funds will go directly to this build. It'd be amazing. And if you guys want to be featured on the back of this car permanently, you guys' name back here, your Instagram name, um, it's going to be right next to my sponsors. If you guys want to be on there, check out the parts list down below. If you guys can donate any of those parts, I mean the world, or if anything you guys have that you feel that it will be a good add-on to this build, would be amazing. Get your name featured in the back. So without further ado guys, I'll show you what Burger Tuning has sent out to me guys. So, as you guys can see, they have the, they sent me out the cowl filters. I don't know if you guys know what these are, but basically you're about to see some magic with what these cowl filters do. So you guys can see that it has this giant um, air filter, what are, I don't know, like, um, you guys can see this giant cabin air filter. That's gonna all go away. All these boxes, this entire tray is gonna be completely taken off. And that's gonna even allow me to identify any leaks, any smoking, where exactly is it coming from when that thing is completely off. Normally when you're working on your car, you have to take it off, fix whatever you gotta fix, put it back. But this time, I'm gonna take it off and permanently keep it off and just put these guys. I'll show you guys what these guys does, do exactly. Um, I'm also gonna show you guys what other stuff Burger Tuning has sent me out. Because shout out to them, they are killing it um, with this build. So you guys can see, I got some intakes, cone air intakes, dual cone air intakes. Super excited about that. And uh, let's just say a tuner, which I'll kind of show you down there. I'm not gonna show you 100% of the tune, because that's gonna be a future down the road video. But they sent me out a tune, I can't install it just yet, because you guys know, the car needs to be in healthier condition before installing something like that. I'm waiting for the new spark plugs, the new valve core for doing stuff like that, but the cone air intakes and the cowl filters, I will be installing those for now. So for this video guys, let's go ahead and install the cowl, the cowl air filters. Shout out to Burger Tuning for sending me those. If you guys want to purchase those down below, it's straight down below. Honestly, 60 bucks to make your life a whole lot easier. Working on your car is definitely worth it. I'm actually going to, my brother uh, is getting a pair, because you will be needing. Habibi, are you kidding me? I'm uh, making a video, Habibi. Bless you. Anyways, so <laughs> he's gonna be getting those filters on his car as well. It works on any BMW E90 generation. Um, it's not just for N54s. If you are working on your car constantly, it's really beneficial to have so you don't have to take the, all those pieces off to just to get to your spark plugs. This is like really beneficial N54 because you know if, you, if your spark plugs or cylinder fails or whatever while you're driving, 
you can go ahead and pull over, replace the spark plug real easy, and that's it. I mean, there's not much to it. You just take off the engine cover, um, have your socket for your spark plug, have a spare spark plug in your trunk, bam, you're in and out, five minutes, you're good to go. You don't have to take off all that extra gunk, put it on the side of the road, and you know, it, it just it looks, it's too much work, you know? Without further ado, let me go ahead, sit you guys down, and let's get to it. All right, guys, don't mind the turtle tanks in the back, but you guys can see on here, it's just Burger Motorsports. It looks super clean. Um, so yeah, this is very compact, and that's gonna literally take get rid of all that stuff back there. So I'm gonna show you guys how you install this. Find my weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. I'm reaching out for the easy high. Please fortify this strength of mine. My weakness comes. Guys, okay. Again, don't mind these stupid turtles. I'm making too much noise over there. But guys, look how much more clearance you have. I mean, the N54 engine's already so compact. And now that you have this like all cleared up to work around in the engine bay, it just makes life a whole lot easier. So you guys can see, I could literally take off that bolt right now, take off these two bolts, pop that open, get to the spark plugs, ignition coils, whatever I am. If I'm running some tunes and I need to you know, replace something because something went bad, it's easy to do. I don't need to take out all this gunk to get to it. You guys can see, that's a lot of stuff that you have to get out. Not to mention you have to put it somewhere. So that just saves you so much room, so much time. I went ahead and zip ties that. You guys can do it your own fancy, you know, nice way. I'm probably gonna go ahead and swap out those zip ties when I get some black ones because I don't like the white ones. But anyways guys, it looks great. I love them. It's gonna go ahead and still give me some fresh air in the car. And at the same time, I have all the free room that I need to work inside the engine bay. All right guys, so I'm gonna be doing these modification types of videos as a separate series. So for those of you guys who wanna do some mods and stuff like that, can actually look directly into these series to see what I did, what exactly my car you know, has in the engine bay. So you guys will know everything that I put in just directly looking at this series. Because if I do some modifications in the other ones, the rebuild series, it's gonna be kind of thrown in between rebuilding the car. You guys are not, you guys will miss couple, you know, some of the mods that I do. And then you guys are always gonna be questioning me and I don't wanna get those comments. So I'm gonna be putting these two separate series. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure to smash the like button. I'm still gonna be mentioning every single one of you guys who ends up supporting this build. And make sure you guys check out Burger Tune down below. These are only 60 bucks and it literally makes your life 10 times easier. I'm definitely getting on my 330i, and I'm definitely getting on my brother's 328 if we don't end up selling them. This is a car I'm keeping 100%, and this is what I messaged um, Burger Tuning for. This is like the main product I messaged them out, but they're the ones that hooked it up with some extra stuff like a tune and some coil filters and stuff like that. So, shout out to them guys. If you guys can just show them some love down below, just check out their store, check out what kind of things they have. They have insane things for this car, and they even have some aesthetic things for your engine bay, just make it a whole lot better. So if you guys are that type of people that just wanna make your engine bay pop when you go to car meets, make sure you guys check it down below. They have all kinds of different pieces, all kinds of different modifications, I cannot wait guys so this is like you know the best engine bay in the world I'm definitely gonna detail this entire engine bay um, but you know one step at a time now we're gonna do the valve cover and that's gonna make a mess so after that we'll get to that but yeah guys make sure to cup also the decals down below to be mentioned in the next video every decal you guys purchase will support this build will help me get more modifications or you know pieces just to fix up this car that would mean the world that's the end of that I'm gonna go ahead and grab all this gunk right here probably throw it in a bag and throw it in the backyard or throw it you know I don't even I don't even need it I don't need it because it's just it's absolutely pointless. I don't understand why they didn't just do this from factory because that just makes it a whole, life a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna end up taking a nice thumbnail just showing you guys the gunk that you guys are gonna be getting rid of. Um, and then yeah, that's it. So without further ado, remember to stay humble guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you guys can get it to 500 likes, I might actually just release the next video as uh, maybe some other mods. So if you guys want it, let me know. Smash the like button. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Shot in him a line and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her, like, Habibi, that's too hot on my life. He put where they are. I was raised with some mollies. Everyone got a friend named Abby. I'm from OT. 613.